Auf die Schmal für Kleinfunk Mux. <lacht> Habe die Ehre. Willkommen wieder aus dem Boost Fitness. Und wir haben halt einen Shape Check mit einer schon bekannten Dame meiner Kollegisation wahrscheinlich verstetzt ist, meiner ehemaligen Freundin. Sie übersetzt sich ja wieder. Und die hat sich jetzt selber vorbereitet auf den Wettkampf. NPC in drei Wochen hier in Bangkok. Und jetzt ist sie natürlich ein bisschen ins Trubeln gekommen, die letzten Tage. Und hat sie mir geschrieben, ob ich sie anschaue. Ich habe sie im letzten gecoacht, im letzten, in der letzten Saison. Das war die erste Saison. Aber es war ein bisschen schwierig. Wenn man in einer Beziehung ist, ist es alles immer gar nicht so leicht. Ja, man nimmt sich viele Sachen sehr persönlich, die vielleicht subjektiv gemeint sind und gut gemeint sind in Bezug auf die Form. Und wir sind dann auseinandergegangen auch. Aber das hat jetzt ein, ist ja kein Team im Bestand. Nur für jeden, der mir ein bisschen mitverfolgt, der wird nicht her, was macht die jetzt in dem Video? Und jetzt habe ich gesagt, ja natürlich cool wieder. Jetzt wird sie nur vorbereitet und das ist schwierig. Right? Difficult to prep by yourself. Huh? Did you say that I'm surprised? Um, I said it, maybe you know this woman already from the past of my life. <laughs> so let's see, let me see here. Three weeks, 16 days. No, we talk about completely different, you know, like when we think about back to her last prep, that was for her, that was the biggest surprise, you know, not not surprise. She was super happy when at least the last thing that she can see her hamstrings, but this time she can see or we can see her hamstrings, but she's not definitely not ready on the upper body. I think you definitely have to adjust every prep. And also because I take more care about my legs this time. I train legs like a crazy. And I change cardio from treadmill to elliptical. You have to do Stairmaster. But it's difficult. Here in Thailand, we don't have many gyms with a Stairmaster. But Stairmaster would be the best. I really believe that if you do a Stairmaster, you know, and you put always this in intensity in your glutes when you walk, you know, that definitely develop this part, especially yeah. for women. Then I will tell you about elliptical, how I did it. <laughs> yeah, that's great. You started a story, you know? Like. First, it's, like, it's an interval. You start like this, and then you go down, not like this, you go down. And it works in the same as Stairmaster, it hits glutes crazy, because you press with heels. I think she just did it because she wanted to make me jealous, because when she put her ass in the camera. Yeah, of course. <laughs> about that, but... <laughs> Last time we had the problem, and this is for many women, many bikini, that it's really difficult to get the legs in shape, get the separations, and don't get too skinny at the upper body, that you lose the volume in the upper body. Now you still have the volume in the upper body. And the legs are already really good separations. You have really good separations in legs because your legs, you have a lot of muscle on your legs, you know. For some women it's really difficult. If you have no muscle on the legs, it's super difficult to get the separations. That's the reason why it was too difficult on the first preps, because I didn't have muscles there. Yeah, let's do one more round. Say that, legs is really good. Legs is really good. Thank you. And I will hire up the cardio. And you have to send me what you eat. Why am I here? <laughs> you, you decide to come here. <laughs> Even in the final weeks, 
This is, I think, most people make wrong, and I did also. I did also wrong in the past. Sorry for my bad English skills. You really have to keep the, the training in intensity high. You know, if you eat less food, if you eat less calories, if you eat less carbs, you show your muscle. Okay, you want to get rid of because they all take your energy. So you want to get rid of the muscle. And then, if you reduce the training intensity when you use less weight, and let's say you do more reps, in basically, then you show your body even more to get rid of the muscle. So. I definitely would say stick to the weights, you know, stick to the training intensity, try to really push it till the end. Of course, stop training legs too heavy like uh, one week out or let's say eight, nine, ten days out, whenever. But really try to keep the, the training intensity high. It's yeah. really important. I also try to take a rest for legs for one week and finish it so we came better for sure. For her, our experience with her was when she really don't train legs for eight, nine days out, it was the best, you know. But it always depends how you train legs, you know. I mean, if you train legs not really intense, maybe you can train, train it five days out, you know. But it's, you shouldn't do you. You really should stick to your training intensity. You really keep it up. It's really important. Otherwise, you lose exactly that muscle what is forced before the hardest for you to grow. For example, for many bikini women, girls like shoulders. I'm just thinking about my back now, and I want to say that I will cover it with my hair. Yeah, it's six but weeks. I don't, I don't need one and a half hour of then, cardio. Then she needs six weeks more to grow her hair. That long. It's long. The, because the more fat is here, the longer. I will say back. like this. <laughs> No, it's just mostly about the waist. I'm worried about waist. No Nutella and less stress. <laughs> I know that you, you are already good in your posing, you know, and you see she's really confident in posing and she can. Because she used you are good in posing. By the way, she offered posing lessons here in Bangkok. So if you're interested. Three, two, three, two, three, two, one, zero, five, five. Just 100 baht per hour. What? <laughs> <laughs> Proportional bigger than your shoulders in that way, I don't know. Can you make put your shoulders a little bit like more in front? Yes, it's completely different. Just rotate it a little bit in front, yeah? It's completely different. Mm -hmm. Then you have this, this round part here. And if you don't do it, it looks like an edge. Mm -hmm. I just see a bone. And maybe for Maybe usually it's no problem, but your legs are too big, you know. It looks like you have too less volume here in the upper body. Mm -hmm. And for us in, 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 in classic physique, we have the same. You know? If I do this or I do this, it looks different. Yeah, and I think lats also open more in this way. Yeah. When you do the front pose for men and for women, or we, with men, we have the double biceps in the front. You always try, it's difficult to think, but you always try to connect your triceps with your latissimus. That you open it, and now I have the connection, you know, they are together. I feel them together. I feel them together, together, and then when I hit it, they're still together. And then you definitely can more open your lats, you know, you're definitely wider. When you go up, it helps you when you just open it up, you know, and you just feel the connection here. You mean? From your triceps? To your left. Uh, you squeeze triceps as well in that moment? Not really squeeze, I try to just connect them together. Yes, 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 yes. And then I think you can take it front. Yeah. If you measure it now, I promise you that you have half a centimeter more volume here. And because of your legs, it makes a huge difference. I know another explanation of what you just said to me. I just have to push hand a little bit forward. Yeah. Yeah. And what you also can try that you close your legs a little bit more. I can stay like I put weight on the one leg now. Yeah. As because a... I think it looks more classy when you stay like this. But I can stay as well like this. Yes, and a little bit more. Yeah. It's because just your legs makes you your lower body so big. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. When you have a wider stance. It made me look the smaller. Mm -hmm. And yes, I like it more when you stay more centered, in my opinion. Okay. But this is just how you like it. Yeah? In my opinion, it's completely different. You see? The whole frame now. Now your upper body looks like the same proportion than your lower body. It's definitely like this. 
everything in bodybuilding is about illusion. I promise, even with the guys. Fake. Huh? Everything's fake. Fake. So perfect for her. No, sure. <laughs> no like everything about illusion. It can be a guy that you have 10 kilograms more on the stage, but the other guy poses more better. Or let's say he poses in a way that it fits him better, his structure. He will look bigger than the other guy. Definitely. I think when I stay center, my legs look even more, even bigger. Yeah, you have to, a little bit to the side. Yeah, your legs look definitely bigger. Side or straight? Too close. The stance is more narrow and the shoulder, because of this, is now wider. It's much better. Okay, but for back pose, I have to stay wider. Yeah. Yes, fine. For NDC, front pose is this one and back pose is this one. Maybe if you make the transition, you can open it, like for the transition. But for back pose, like don't open the open the stage. Here it is. Yes. For practice my posing routine, I know exactly if I put in 60 seconds, like 30 poses, it's not good for me. Better I should 20 and make this 20 really good, you know, and hold it in the right way than I put 30. I know it doesn't work for me, you know. Let's say it's okay, mm -hmm. I can do this and save the energy that we make a few more. Up to you. Yeah, it's better because I know in one moment I... You will become unfriendly. I will become unfriendly. <laughs> Nothing changed. Okay. <laughs> Nothing changed, no. So, and then I thought, like, when I'm on the ground already, mm -hmm. I want to do two or three more on the ground. Mm -hmm. You know, so I saved this one. It's like a, how it's called, transition. Yeah. I also practiced this one already. Mm -hmm. It's really cold. I think this body fat feels more cold here. Yeah, you know, the posing routine is super difficult for me. I'm an idiot when it comes to pose uh, to to movements. You know, I'm a really idiot. I won po best posing for Carl three times, best posing award three times in Germany. But not because I'm so good in posing. I mean, it was good, but I just practiced like an asshole. And then now I'm three weeks out. You should do your fucking posing routine much earlier. Okay, then from first pose you can just open hands. Yeah, this one. Mm -hmm. Thank you. It's just a bit cold. Maybe you can, can you leave it here? Like you know this because you, she is a dancer, you know. You get the feeling for this, me not. You know, I don't get it. To make this transition which you like to. Okay. Yeah. Open hand. Yes, that's good. It's like it's not transition for you, it's false. Yeah. Stay on this. I was hoping it's not like this. He stay on the front leg. Aha! Uh -huh. And then you need to push body forward and stay on this knee, like this. Because you can. Good dancer will finish dancing on the broken heels. Over. This. Then you turn, how you turn to this position? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. No, I cannot do it. Change your body weight to another leg without standing then up. Then we have to find a pose for change, it's no problem. This one we have. You start like if this. I come from here, then I go to here. Yes! Right legs now! This. Crown. Crown. And then... And switch to another knee. This one. From this it's possible to turn because your body weight is here. No, it's good. 
you need to stand. Das war's eigentlich. Also die ist schon, die hat das schon gut gemacht. Und eins muss ich ja gerne sagen, könnt ihr euch das Video mal anschauen, was ich bei ihr wirklich darauf geschaut habe von Anfang an, sie war überhaupt nicht im Bodybuild-Geschehen involviert, dass sie in keine Essstörung verfällt. Ja, wir haben wirklich geschaut, dass sie nach dem, nach, nach, nach dem Wettkampf auch wirklich wieder einen Plan hat, dass sie nicht in ihr sie fressen lassen damals, you remember? Like after the competition, you know, we, it was Christmas, like nearly Christmas, and then I let her eat like really crazy, you know? And she eat a lot. She eat a lot. That was my intention. It was the purpose that he did it. She did it because in that way, after two, three days, he said, fuck, I don't want to see any fast food. I don't want to stick to the plan. I want to stick to the plan again. So it was really easy to satisfy her in that way, the cravings, you know, from the from all this competition prep. And then she want to go back on track. And then I think it's also really good if you set a competition like it's not too far in the future that you can't get out of shape. Also, don't make it too crazy, too, not too many competitions. If you need improvements, you have to do improvements. But I think it's not too bad, you know, to really keep the periods be between the competitions short to stay on track. This doesn't mean anything. I still love Nutella. Mm -hmm. See you. Adios. Habe die Ehre. Habe die Ehre.